Have you ever wondered how those massive bridges and towers you see all the time get painted? Who paints the bridges, locks, dams, storage containers, buildings, and battleships of this great country? Skilled IUPAT industrial painters do. That's who. More correctly, industrial coating application specialists do. Industrial coating application specialists apply techniques to prepare substrates for coating and lining application. The techniques utilized may include the removal of rust and previously applied hazardous coatings. They will use industry-specific techniques to apply coatings to protect our nation's bridges and buildings, power generation plants, and nuclear facilities. They do rigging and containment work and maintain our nation's infrastructure. They also have excellent mechanical skills and a willingness to travel extensively. Because of this, these specialists are required to receive more specialized training in health and safety due to the hazards associated with their work. In today's environmentally conscious culture, the industrial coating application specialists must also be careful to protect the environment surrounding the work site to ensure that hazardous debris, such as lead-based paint and abrasive blasting material, is properly contained and disposed of according to stringent federal, state, provincial, and local regulations. This often requires the rigging of intricate containment systems and work platforms. Coating application specialists often operate spray painting equipment to apply protective coatings to manufactured items or structures. The types of tasks they perform as industrial coating application specialists are many, and they are varied. As a coating application specialist, you would prepare surfaces to be coated by using various methods, abrasive blasting, high pressure washer. You would also apply or install protective linings to steel and concrete structures. Additionally, you would operate automatic spray guns, set nozzles, and synchronize the action of guns. Rigging may also be a responsibility, using pulleys, booms, braces, and cables to attach hooks, chains, and cables to lift loads safely in rig safety harnesses. Finally, you would clean nozzles, containers, and hoses of machines. Industrial coating application specialists usually work in noisy factories or construction environments. Most of their time is spent standing or bent over. Protective clothing, such as respirators and goggles, must be worn when handling hazardous materials. The kind of knowledge required to perform this job, well, is as varied as the tools and techniques you will learn to use. You'll need the knowledge of safety and government regulations. You need to know the regulations for your trade. You will need to be trained in public safety and security, mandated OSHA, and provincial occupational safety training will keep you and others safe on the job. Business and management training helps. You'll need to learn project management if you hope to move up to foreman, superintendent, or project manager. Customer service skills help. You may be dealing with clients on the job and it always helps to be good at it. Communication skills in both written and verbal form are critical. Engineering and technology knowledge is key. The more you know, the faster you can progress in your expertise in the trade and through the ranks. The basic skills needed to be a good industrial coating application specialist are the same as those that make a good professional tradesperson and are taught in the classroom and on the job site. You'll need to be effective at listening to others, not interrupting, and asking good questions. Thinking about the pros and cons of different ways to solve a problem. Understanding people's reactions is beneficial. This means you'll need to be able to react tactfully, clarify statements, and relay information accurately. Of course, the bulk of your job is going to be the handling of tools and materials, and to be an excellent industrial painter, you will have to master them. Let's look at the physical abilities you'll need to make a good industrial coating application specialist. You'll need good hand dexterity. Can you use your fingers all day, every day, without interruption because of physical limitations like cramping or arthritis or some other limiting factor? You'll also need excellent hand strength. If you have issues with your hand strength or working with hand tools, this may not be the job for you. Do you have physical endurance? The job can be a tough one, especially if it's big and fast-paced. Being in good physical shape is a necessary part of being a good industrial coating application specialist. You must be in good physical condition. You can have no chest complaints or allergies related to paints, solvents, or dust. 
Do you have normal color vision? You'll be working in a world of color, so this is important. As you can see, there is a lot more to being an industrial painter than just spraying paint. You'll learn a number of tools and use a number of techniques, many of which are very physical and require attention to detail. You might ask yourself, what does personality have to do with being a coding application specialist? Well, like all the trades, this job is part of a team. You'll need to be able to work well with others, communicate clearly, and be dependable. Being an industrial coding application specialist takes more than just a keen eye and steady hand. It takes maturity and professionalism, too. The job of an industrial coding application specialist is constantly changing. The technology used to make the job easier and more efficient is constantly evolving. Finally, using computers is a fact of life in any job these days. The job of an industrial coding application specialist is no exception. You might ask yourself, what kind of education do I need to be an industrial coding application specialist? Your IUPAT credentials are nationally recognized in the industry and can open the door for you to get a job with a good company. And the IUPAT can also assist you in furthering your education. Now, as you continue in your career after completing your apprenticeship and becoming a journey worker, you'll want to pursue additional training and certifications. This will require additional classroom time and on-the-job training. Finally, what is the outlook for this career? The outlook for the industrial coding application specialist is a bright one, as are many in this field. There are going to be many large construction and infrastructure projects initiated in the coming years, so you'll be busy. So, just to recap, if you aren't 100% confident in your mental and physical ability to work suspended at great heights, work in treacherous outdoor conditions, handle hazardous materials and chemicals, or operate some of the most powerful industrial equipment in our industry, then you might want to reconsider your desire to be an industrial coding application specialist. Are you right for this trade? Is this trade right for you? This is an important question and one you should consider carefully. If you are sure about this apprenticeship, then go ahead and explore your bold future today at the IUPAT.